You may have seen Beyblade is a little crazy, but it might be a little worse than you thought. First example is domestic terrorism. Roll the clip. So first they blow the freaking roof off this building, and then they're scaring these poor people, and these guys waste zero time blowing the road up. I mean, it's exploding. Dude, that person in the car is dead. Look at the How are they going that fast? And I mean, poor Pegasus, this dude is just getting tossed back and forth by Damien and Jack. And Damien's a menace. We're going to get into that. Because this kid wastes zero time opening the gates of hell in the middle of the city. Look at him. Why would you do this? Imagine walking out of your place of work. And you just see some 16-year-old kid opening the gates of hell and Satan coming out onto the street, snatching up a winged horse. But then it gets worse. I don't know where Kiyoyo comes in and then a tornado spawns in the middle of the city. So you got a tornado, the gates of hell, and a 50-foot flying horse. And I know you see that cop car. Why is he not doing anything? Why is he not arresting those kids? They're terrorists. Shoot them, please. Anyways... So we get back here, and bro, look, watch, he's just on the freaking bus for no reason. Oh wait, I forgot, it's an anime, that's why. Don't think that's all I've got. Then he turns El Drago into a freaking bullet and shoots him! Look at this! Well, you can't see the blood, but anyways. So, I mean, he's talking crap right now, and, you know, his whole, I'll get you, and now we're getting to the get back. And don't ask me why there's a flying city in the sky. I don't feel like explaining it. So we're going to fast forward the little speech that Rayuga does before he goes. And does all that. So El Drago flies into this flying city and starts just tearing it up. I mean, he's going in and out and all up inside this city, Paul. But, I mean, look, look at him. He's tearing up every single level of the city from the bottom to the very top. I mean, he just interrupted a very important bay battle. Bro doesn't care. But, I mean, honestly, if you're on this city and this is happening, what do you even do? Like, I mean, you're over the ocean while this dragon is just tearing it apart. I mean, you're just gonna die. So now we get to the night where Ryuga catches three bodies, and these three people are legendary bladers. These are the best of the best. I mean, literally chosen by the star fragment. And you can see Leon's attacks aren't doing crap. And then Ryuga's like, time to say goodbye. He unleashes that special move, and homie's just gonna get cooked by the flames. I mean, have you ever tried lion meat? I'm just kidding. I live in America, don't sue me. And bro is just dead. He's gone, again! So then Ryuga is like, let's go, Jinga! And these two get to scrapping! And I mean, they're gonna go at it. It's Jinga and Ryuga. It's the best of the best. And yeah, uh, Kiyoya's still dead over here. But then Ryuga is like, it's time for you to go! And he gets on it. And El Drago understood the assignment. He was after that Pegasus booty! And then Ryuga calls out that special move again. And you're done. You you just can't survive it. Not even Jinga. Not even the main character. You're just dead. Cause Ryuga's that good. <laughs> now we have the third legendary blader, and he's uh, look at how fast he just drew that Beyblade. And Bro is dead. Oh wait, I forgot. He has a whole anime moment. And I mean, he just yeets El Drago away from his Beyblade with the power of the Star Fragment and becoming Legendary Blade and all that. Look at him go. And then, you know, they get to scrapping. And Ryuga gets excited for a second. Watch this, watch this. And he gets a little too excited and Bro just accidentally kills the little kid. Yeah, he's, he's dead. And Bro just laughs it off. Now we're gonna get into the, the battle that literally cost a man his life, and of course, it is the GOAT Ryuga. Cause my man was so powerful, he literally died when he lost. But the GOAT himself is having one of the most intense anime moments I've ever witnessed. I mean, granted I haven't seen that many animes, but that's besides the point. Look at this crap. My man is like a hundred feet away from the stadium, and he is sliding on his tippy toes. How do you even do that? And bro is coming with more power than a god. Look at that. There is more power coming from Ryuga's Beyblade than Nemesis. Homie really went in. But, yeah. This part hurts my soul, Loki. Like, if I start crying, I'm going to have to cut it out. So the god of destruction hits Ryuga with his ultimate special demonic Satan move. 
and Ryuga sadly has taken an L and we're just never gonna speak about this again okay all right good so now we're gonna dive into this dude Damien and this dude is one of the most demonic characters in the show matter of fact he might be an actual demon I mean his special move is literally opening a gate to Hades anyways bro comes across Subasa and you and he's like you'll do and bro just opens that hell gate and Look at that. That's some of the most demonic crap. And, you know, Jenga comes running to see, and you is dead. Subasa is dead. Look at these Beyblades. They're absolutely shattered. Like, we've never seen that in this show before. Like, bro literally is like that. Next up, we got this dude, Julian, and he thinks he's about to do some crap to Damien with his little special move. And look at this man's face. It's demonic. He's excited for this crap. He's been waiting because of this. Bro just ate that crap and said, so that little thing was your special move. That's some ultimate disrespect. And now my man is just going ham on this dude. I mean, this man is snatching his whole memory card, bro. Imagine getting ran up on and getting your SD card stolen. That's what Damien's doing to this fool until he starts crying like, please stop. And his little goons had to come in and help him because he's such a little weakling. And so... You know, Damien's like that. He's like, all right, bet. I'll take all three y'all at the same time. And y'all ain't gonna like it. So bro pulls up the gates to Hades, opens that hoe, and just starts devouring everybody. I mean, when you have chore music come on and you're in an anime, you know you're dangerous. That's just how it is. Look at this. Three world-class bladers taken out just like... Look at this man's face. And listen to this demonic freaking chat log right here. I am... I am what? This dude is the actual devil. Bro just broke his mind. Next up on the menace list, we have this dude named Reggie. And this dude was sadistic as heck. This was the only character that actually scared me as a kid. Bro was out here counting the claws on Kenta's little Beyblade. Get more pleasure from breaking you! I mean, did you hear what this man just said? Bro said he'll get pleasure from breaking you in a kid's show. What kind of crap is going on here? This little sadist was actually out here turning people to stone. This always cracked me up. Yeah, just a tad upset. Bro is out here destroying this poor little kid's baby. But granted, I actually like this this scene a lot. I, I can't stand Kenta. He's one of the most... But bro is not done yet. This man starts crushing his Beyblade even after the fight. Then we gotta talk about what he did to Hioma. Because he humiliated this man and made him cry like a little... I can't say the word because that's sexist in 2024. But this is a major ick for me, low-key. I can't even lie to but you. But hold on, it's not over. Look at this walk. 